Today you're going to continue doing your research on your threatened habitat uh, sheet. So once again, it looks like this. Uh, you have shared it with me. You've been working on it. And today I want to make sure that you focus on the IUCN Red List. Remember we watched the video about the IUCN Red List, which identifies species, plants, and animals um, where they are in terms of whether they're extinct, endangered, vulnerable, or least concern. So you're going to be looking for plants and animals. You need to have at least eight. The more you have, the better, but you must have at least eight and you have to include at least two plants. So uh, you're going to go and click on that link. And so maybe, for example, you might be really familiar with like, oh, yeah, we're doing the Arctic. And you might go up and go like, um, Arctic fox. And you're going to go scroll on. Oh, but the Arctic fox, if you see here, it says least concern. So that is not one of the species you can add to your list. So least concern, if you look at the... Uh, list. Let's see where does it go. I'm going to go pick another animal. Um, oh, here. So I'm going to click that on Arctic fox. So that tells the scientific name. So the scientific name is Vulpus uh, legopus. And so I can see here um, not evaluated, data deficient, so least concern. So anything that is least concern cannot be added to that list. We're grateful. We're super happy that they're not uh, threatened or near threatened or vulnerable. But in terms of the process and where we're going to go, those are not going to be part of this document. So you'll have to go find something else. But also make sure when you do stuff that it's indeed the, the species that you're really looking for. So I'm like, oh, yeah, Arctic fox. Well, that's a common name. Um, so, for example, maybe it was like a gray parrot. But I'd want to make sure that it's indeed, you know, I'd look down for geographic regions. Oh, yeah, Arctic fox is definitely in the Arctic. That's the species that I'm concerned about but you want to kind of read some of the other descriptors to make sure that the common name that you're thinking isn't doesn't apply to more than one species. So sometimes common names can be misleading. Um, obviously the Arctic fox is kind of, kind of obvious, but some things actually have multiple common names um, and represent very different organisms. So you want to kind of verify that it is, and also that it is definitely in the habitat that you are researching. So I'm like, yes, so I'm in the Arctic and I can see, oh yes, up here it's in the Arctic. So be looking for that and then you will basically, I would recommend also getting the scientific name. So, I mean, not for this one. So let's say, for example, I was going to go for, um, let's see, panda. Okay, so let's say maybe my regions, I pick some place in China, panda. Oh my gosh, look at all these different pandas. So once again, like that's why you need to be really careful about like, there's a red panda, there's the giant panda. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, okay, I think it was the giant panda. So then you would go there, oopsie, something went wrong. That is not good. Um, so for purposes of this video, let's assume it was the red panda we were looking for. Um, and I can see here, that's the Firefox one, just in case you're wondering. Um, so let's say, for example, oh, it's endangered. So this is something that if I was looking for it, I'd want to make sure that it's where in the habitat that I am focusing on. So I'm going to look down and scroll down and find some more information. Uh, assuming this thing is working, which it doesn't seem to be right now. Uh, let's see. Oh, there are classification schemes. Rawr. So that's the classification seems, and I can see that it's the threat, that it's endangered. Um, let's see, summary, if I can get to that. Okay, there it goes, now it's working. So once again, I'm looking for where does this, is this actually the habitat that I think it is? The red panda is endangered because the population is declining, and I'm kind of just kind of scroll over here and kind of see if it can tell me where exactly this is located. Well, I can see the cattle and da 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 da. Um, scrolling down, scrolling down. Range. Ah, there we go. The range, geographic range. So I want to be looking in here to see is this the place where I'm looking? Oh, yeah, it's indeed in China and blah, 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 blah. So you're going to have to kind of sort through this, have a conversation with people at your table group because 
I can tell you that in the past, people have put things that weren't part of their habitat, and I was able to figure that out. So where we're going to go with this is you are going to come up with a list of species, animals, and some plants, and then eventually we're going to take those organisms and we're going to create a food web. So you're going to actually see how these different species interact in a food web, and you're going to draw it out, and it's going to be absolutely, absolutely awesome. It's a really fun part of the project. But you do need to have your organisms identified. And then also in this process, each of you, you, you're not going to do this today, but each of you is going to pick one of the organisms that is vulnerable or endangered or threatened on that list, and you're going to do more of a full report understanding how that species uh, that species role in the ecosystem. So, um, so be thinking about that, but you know, you don't need to necessarily kind of decide on that because I'll be there the day that you do that. Um, and once again, each person will have a different organism that they will understand how it fits into the ecosystem. And then we will, like I said, go from there and create a food web poster, which is awesome, which is really, really lovely. So once again, you're going to come up with at least eight, you're going to add them to your document. And I hope that's helpful, and I will see you on Friday.